Hey there, Eli coming at you again from the fish rooms of OSA Coventry here today to show off a really interesting, unique animal that we don't get to see very often. Today, I am graced with the pleasure of hanging out with these two yellow eel gobies. And my favorite fact about these yellow eel gobies is that although they might be yellow, they're neither eel nor goby. So if that's the case, what even are they? These yellow eel gobies are a cryptic species of Brotulid fish, which is a type of cusk eel or a cusk which are related to a whole bunch of different types of other fish. They do somewhat resemble eels and they're generally a deep water shire species of animal. There are larger species of cusk off the Atlantic coast that sometimes you might see offered in fish markets to eat. They are a larger species of fish. However, the yellow cusk goby or the yellow eel goby is a lot smaller of an animal and it is a lot more appropriate for your tropical fish tank. These guys stay quite small, generally only three to four inches in length and they are bright yellow as that name suggests with very small beady eyes. They do somewhat resemble eels because they have a very long tapering tail that kind of does resemble that eel body plan and they do have a very large head in comparison so they do somewhat resemble gobies as well. However truthfully they are a species of cusk and one of the neatest things about the Brotulid cusks is that they're actually live bearing animals. So for a lot of us that keep freshwater aquariums, we're used to live bearers such as guppies, mollies, platies, sword tails. There are very many examples in freshwater of fishes that give birth to live young versus laying eggs. However, in saltwater, this is a very rare reproductive strategy. It is a lot more common for saltwater animals, especially some of your smaller species, to just lay eggs, whether these be demersal eggs or stuck to the bottom or these are pelagic eggs that are just broadcast spawn into the water and the current carries them around. These cusks actually hold on to those fertilized eggs and they will give birth to fully formed live young. So that's a very interesting thing about these animals. As I suggested earlier, a lot of your cusks come from deeper water. So these are from deeper reefs. And I do believe that that has something to do with why they are such a vibrant yellow in appearance because at those deeper depths, that yellow has to be a lot harder to see, as when the light attenuates with depth in the water, a lot of your colors are lost. Uh, so these guys in their home range, in their home territory, probably do not stand out very well from the rocks. Because they are a deeper water animal and because they are mainly nocturnal, feeding mostly in the darker hours, it is something that, like you see here, is not going to be very active in your aquarium, unless it's a very dimly lit tank and they do benefit from a very peaceful, shy, slow setting. So having a tank that is escaped to offer some rock work for them to hide in, but does not have too many boisterous tank mates is going to be the most appropriate. And also having a dimly lit aquarium or something that you might be looking at more during the nighttime hours, you get a little bit more rewarding behavior out of these animals because they don't love the bright lighting. Their eyesight is quite poor and they really are going to hunt more at night. This being said, they are quite fit for aquariums. They generally will eat a lot of your frozen food offerings. And there are even some reports of them grazing things like bristle worms and other pests out of the aquarium. So if you do have a decently well-established, small, peaceful aquarium, these guys should do quite well for you. Again, they're going to be quite shy during most of the time, but as long as you have a general idea of where they are spending most of their time, and you are patient enough to do a little bit of target feeding, they should be quite a rewarding animal for you. And although they are live bearing fishes and they should be somewhat easy to breed in aquaria in comparison to a lot of your other species, as far as I understand, there is not much commercial breeding of this species going on, but it is something that might be able to do down the road. So although the name is a little bit clickbait, they're not eels, they're not gobies, they are yellow. They're still a really fun fish to keep in an aquarium. Something that's quite unique, something you don't see very often. And if you do have the appropriate setting for it, something that's a little bit peaceful, a smaller sized aquarium, and something that you are able to keep your eyes on a little bit more frequently than some of your other aquariums, these would be quite a rewarding fish to keep. They are just an interesting offering, something that we don't see terribly often, a really unique color and body shape. And the fact that they are live bearing fishes is a really interesting thing to me. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you learned a little bit about the eel goby today. As always, feel free to leave questions, comments, suggestions in the comment section below and keep on reefing.